Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Love you guys, thanks for coming on over today. I am so jazzed to show you my glue book. I am finished with this one, at least I'm gonna call it done for now. Uh, and I want you to see what I came up with. Um, but before I do that, I wanna show you what I made it out of. Let's see, this is um, just a catalog that I have gotten in the mail from the previous owner who is, you know, uh, down in Colorado and is like, well, okay, actually it was her daughter. So anyway, I have, it's made out of two of these. And as you can see, it's quite thin. Uh, the pages are really kind of floppy and, and, you know, low quality. It's just a catalog to flip through. Um, but this is how thick it ended up getting with two of them. <laughs> so, and that's just from gluing. So just a few little tips on this. One thing I understand about gluing is that when you do glue on a page, you're going to uh, disrupt the thickness of it. So these staples aren't gonna be big enough to hold, to really give it a good hold. So um, I would suggest reinforcing the spine um, with either wash, not washi tape, something a little stronger than that. So painter's tape, duct tape, um, masking tape, something to that effect. Fabric would work as well. Also, I would suggest um, pull, pulling out some of these things or putting them in more securely. And as you can see the staples right here, I would get in there with some tape and take care of that too. Make it nice and sturdy on that section. Also, uh, or you could just take this out and glue some pages together. Um, that would uh, actually give you a stronger surface to work with. Not as many pages, of course, but at the same time, it would give you a really strong, uh, uh, not really strong, give you a stronger uh, surface to work on. And, um, and go every other one maybe, you know, or something like that. Just be consistent so that it's evenly spaced. And when you are gluing, when you get to that point, global life, uh, when you get to that point, um, either start in the middle with your with your gluing artistic fun or go from a front, do a front page, then do a back page and then come back to this part and then come, you know what I mean? Just be consistent um, and then maybe work your way in or start from the middle and work your way out. Um, and what's going to happen is the pages are going to push out because the thickness on every page accumulates and so it just doesn't have anywhere to go so you're going to end up with pages that push out and you can see right here these pages right here they pushed out um and it, because i didn't realize that if i did back and forth or start in the middle or you know very where very where my pages where i'm working on my pages so yeah the front i just started from the front and just kept going and so there i got the push out so we live and learn right Okay, so that's just a little couple tidbits on what I learned on this. So yeah, yeah. So just be consistent in whatever you're going to do that way. Um, and there's other videos on how to prepare your glue books too. They're, you know, preparing magazines for glue books. I think there's a couple videos on that somewhere in the universe, in the YouTube universe. Okay, so let's get on right on in it. This, as you might recall, was the one that has, um, that was just painted black. It just didn't have. Any, didn't have a focal point and didn't have anything on it and also let's look at the size of it um, as you can see I have enlarged the the length or the width of the book because as the pages were pushing out the cover was getting shorter and shorter <laughs> so that that made me have the feel the need to push out and extend the front cover and the back cover with just a piece of card stock and then I just covered it well you'll see what I did but yeah and then what I first did though is I had if this is going to be use it up stuff I had this contact paper from the Dollar Tree and it's like my it's favorites it's one of the favorites I really do like black and white things um, I'm drawn to that and you'll see black and white throughout my books and anyway so I just added that on here. I had to have my husband help me with that because it was wrinkling. I couldn't do it myself. So because it was just, I had to hold the book. And anyway, so he helped me with that. But some washi tape on the bottom that matched and some fun words. This is called my crazy glue book. And crazy glue is the name of a glue, but there's glue all in, the, in this. And the pages are a little bit crazy in some points. So it's just fun. I had a lot of fun. This was an old card stock that I had 
from a paper pack um, found at Goodwill. The blue is an envelope. That's just, I backed it with that silly envelope and then just um, did some black lining around that to make it stand out a little more. So love this book though. I love how it feels. I love the thickness of it. I love all the jaggedy edges and how junky it is on the inside. And you can see where the contact paper is holding the two book pages together or two uh, magazine catalog things together. And Oh, I just had a lot of fun with this. All right, so let's go on inside and see what we got. See what we got. Let's see. We've got glare, but a lot of the pages on here are from magazines. And one of them, Somerset, you'll see a lot of Somerset stuff in here. Um, and, uh, but yeah, that's, if you ever get a Somerset magazine, more power to you. That's a really great resource for glue booking ideas um, and fodder. This is where I increased the edge and just added some washing tape here. And this washi tape is still a little tacky. And I know that there's ways to fix that, um, but I just didn't do it. It's a junky glue book. And here I had to reinforce the uh, with fabric right here. But yeah, just had some fun with color scheme, a little bit of painting in here. And there's a little bit of art journaling type stuff in here, art uh, experimentation. But that's what these books are for, uh, for you to see what your eye likes and um, put it on here, you know, with what you can find, the, the fodder that you find in magazines and such. Added some paint here for a background, added some washi tape. And that's another thing other glue bookers have done is added washi tape to all, all the edges of their book. And that looks really cool too. I didn't do it on this one. I just didn't. But how fun is that? Some of the elements in here just, I found some film strips and it's like, this is just too fun. I got to use this somewhere. So anyway, and everyone deserves their own private island. Wouldn't that be a beautiful studio to just chill out in on any given day? Yep. Kind of, you know, one of those places you'd like to be sometime. Backed with uh, patterned paper, uh, like from a pattern. Uh, hinge there, duct tape. You'll see duct tape in here. I had to fix several pages. Lots of texture on this one and butterflies and just had fun just gluing and lots of different things on here. A lot of different things. Even threw in some gold paint. Um, some art of my own in here. Just putting, oh, that petal's falling up. Falling up is, that, <laughs> is you know, you yeah, know what I mean. But yeah, just threw in some things. And some pages, because it was getting see it pulled apart right there. So I'm going to, I should probably fix that pulled apart right there. But I don't know. I might not. I uh, made some pages that were just kind of plain because of the thickness of the book. It's getting a little crazy. But I like that. I love the colors in this and the texture and stuff like that. Uh, cool postcard. But I think it's a decal and then in a sleeve and on a page that I just painted on and artworked on a little bit. You can see that it's he's glossy. And yeah. Pretty sure he's a de decal. But that again, some of the pages aren't as fancy because of the thickness of the book, how fat it was getting. Um, painted papers, uh, strips glued on, just some other coordinating elements, some washi tape here and there. Here is just an art page I did, a couple art pages I did. Again, just experimenting and finding out what I liked about doing these pages, um, uh, practicing on my faces. It's something that I like to do sketch wise. More hinge fixing, uh, magazine and a single page here, just to, again, not add to the bulk of the book. And uh, this needs a title. <laughs> and when I find it, I'll put it in here because I have words, I do have words. Um, a puppy page that's been filmed. This was just a fun texture experiment that I did with some strips and scraps of uh, coffee dyed paper and other textured papers. And just a few, just two words, yeah, and some paint. And I left it, I didn't wanna put a picture on there. Here's another one of those postcards. And background of, wow, that's just so cool. Look at how beautiful she is. Uh, the background is oh, is um, napkins. Always an easy background for glue booking if you need a background. Yep, 
used up my spider, <laughs> my spider web back, uh, napkin. Napkins are fun. Uh, more artistic expression there. And I love her. She reminds me of my grandma Freilich. Isn't she the cutest? And this needs a title. Don't know what it is yet. When I find it, it's going there. This one I filmed. Love the black and white accents and my little people down low. Um, pretty colors. I, I love this color. More, it's, um, I can't say it's yellow. I can't say it's green. It might be the um, chartreuse. Yeah, maybe. Anyway, but you'll see a lot of different hinge fixes in this book. This dog is fun. More nap napkin backgrounds. Oops. I guess washi tape on the edges is a good way to get make sure you're not going to extra flip a page. So I think I filmed this too. Um, yeah, just a book page that I altered. And uh, this beautiful cat. Yeah, some the washi tape doesn't stick to washi tape, apparently. I'll have to maybe give that another glue. Um, this is a Florida panther in Tampa Bay's Lurie Park Zoo in Florida. Beautiful picture. I love this page. It's one of my favorite pages in the book. Just all the colors and fun. It's just beautiful. Again, black and white accents. I like it. I try not to do it everywhere, but I could. <laughs> I just really like how black and white looks on things. More art paging just working on that these guys are so fun and more hinge fixing Baxter is that he's the cutest on some pancakes I love it relax and enjoy wrapping paper on um, this picture I've had for a really long time in my collage binder it now has a home and wouldn't it be nice to just hang out there oh gosh it's beautiful yeah, and this place too is very beautiful. Um, I don't know where it is in reality, but there's a place in Oregon that is really similar to that. Have good memories of it. Okay, um, more collage just here. Grab your day, right? Have fun with it. These are actually pictures from my Garden and Gun magazine. Yep, they make an appearance here and there. I think this one is too. Find your escape, and she's obviously on the beach. But uh, I added a picture of a ice Alaska, very cold picture to go contrast with it, along with some envelope fun. And a vintage page, just some cool images of people that, you know, it could be a family type of thing. And I don't know, just fun. Black and white page, found a black and white word and black and white elements. These are from um, a catalog of linens, towels and rugs and bed sheets and such. Oh, just some color craziness here. I used a gold candy wrapper to go with the gold in here and there's a little bit of gold in here. There's some splashed up in there. And uh, yeah, I did washi tape the edge of this. And just a collage here of different elements and beautiful picture. And here's using some orange from my bright, bold colored cardstock as a background for this. Uh, this piece right here is the tearaway part of a napkin. Uh, that is just the white part. And I just stamped on that, made a little collage there with one, two, three, four, five elements, page done. And uh, here's a fix with some thick paper. Um, just another collage with some bits of, whoop, that looks like it's coming off. I'll get that later. Um, from magazines. Pretty much this is all a Somerset stuff right here. And some uh, tissue paper from a local store here in town. Uh, love your life. Best day ever. Just a cool magazine picture from uh, Better Homes and Gardens. And I added a few little elements to her walls and just fun stuff. This is a good, this one I enjoy doing. It's just this little, little flip here. This catalog already had a little flip. And this, this picture of a girl just sitting on the beach, playing in the, in the sand, and so fun. Put a heart there and some, um, there's, this one has texture on it. These are like texture stickers that are, I don't even know where I got them from, but, and I've had these forever. But it's just cute. It's just cute. I like it. And let's see, scooting over a little bit. All of these elements, I think I used like seven pictures. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven pictures and some scrap of paper. And this says happy things. And so I thought that was fun. These are all beautiful things that 
bring me joy. I mean, I like, I love the wood and the gold and these flowers and fun yarn. Just, oh, and of course, a cinnamon roll. Who doesn't like a cinnamon roll? But the colors kind of, too, the pinks and the golds. Okay, moving right along. More black and white-ish type stuff. Something then I doodled on, some paper from a summer set and just some cool black and white pictures. More trying to work my sketching of faces and fix there with painter's tape. And this one too, more fixing. This is duct tape, man, that's sturdy stuff. But uh, these things are beautiful and I think this was like an angel picture and she looks like she's looking at the mom. I don't know, I like how that turned out. This is just a fun collage. I think just a glue session that I just went a little bit nuts on. I put a little tag in this pocket that I've had forever that I was just experimenting with paints and such. such. Put a tag in there and uh, nothing on the back. So not everything has, has something awesome on it. It's just a page that's glued. But uh, that's how we use up the stuff. And I really like this page too. And this needs a word like move or think or I, I don't know. It needs, needs needs some sort of word. But yeah, painted paper and painted uh, no, stamped tracing paper and a cool image, um, I think, from Garden and Gun magazine. So if nothing else, that Garden and Gun magazine is giving me some photo points, focal points. And here's another picture of me working on my sketching. Um, still need to work on face dimensions for female and male because I can't really tell this is kind of an androgynous picture I don't I'm still working on dimensions on that so that's kind of what that is but that's something I get to I get to play with so I enjoy that and this page was so much fun uh these two these two pages and I and I filmed some of this stuff um but let's get in and take a look here here's a fun little card that just a painted card zero doubt own it and you know it's just fun little image and I just did this on the back. Your story is important. And there's a little bit of writing space if I want to write on there. I could, I could, I could. Um, but these pockets are just made with, you know, just junk I had. Painted paper and my sparkling water. But I filmed these, thankful, grateful, blessed. And uh, this was fun, this little um, activity. Doing this one and the one down below. I haven't worked on the back, but that's something I could come back to if I wanted to. Um, this one says peace, joy, and love. So fun. I enjoy doing these. And you can watch those videos if you want to. But that video, I should say. And this is just another one of the painted papers that belong to this. Just cut. And an image. Make it work. Because that's kind of all we're doing in these books. Sometimes with just the gluing stuff, we're taking all our pieces and our scraps and trying to make it work. And in fact, this one doesn't quite work. Because if I flip it over it's like that way and anyway it's horizontal versus vertical <laughs> anyway but yeah these are just painted white uh to start with and uh yeah just let's see there we go tuck that in there up oh, and lots of different little elements here made a little pocket due to bird hugs and kisses found out that some birds can be affectionate and i put a put a uh image on the back of the northern lights Probably in Alaska somewhere or a great northern basin. I don't even know. Beautiful though. And tag in this. Yeah, this is a pocket. These two are pocket pages. So did did a few things on here. Made something on the back. And this paper is another one of my brights that I alcoholed inked on just so I'd have something. It's just needed something. It's so bright. And just a collage of different elements that I've had in my stash and added some words. And this was just a stamped image on this on a Bright's card. This was definitely bright. So just a lot of little scraps that I didn't quite want to let go of yet. I love the colors on these and the black and white pop there. And uh, just some of these element, elements I just did not want to get rid of yet. I, I want, because I had fun doing, making them. And uh, now I just have pieces of them, but I, I still want to look at them. I still want to see them and, and uh, remember how much fun I had making them. So that's kind of how these things end up in here. Little pieces of that. Um, this is just a little stamped image, but, uh, and then this, this cartoon, everything in moderation, especially moderation, love it. And then even down here, Garf Garfield, it's like echo point. He's at echo point and someone's saying, excuse me. And he's like, I didn't say that. So it's just 
what what was the echo i don't, I don't know the rest of the cartoon that goes here but yeah more garden and gun gun magazine stuff i just took a page and made a pocket out of that but yeah these are these are fun these are middle of the night kind of work sessions not not these two but these other things <laughs> it's fun and this is a beautiful picture of a chrysalis from a zoo books magazine children's magazine and it needs a it definitely needs the word transform or metamorphosis or something like that because uh, it, it just looks like gl glass. Very cool picture. And I use more, this was a huge fold out. I use more of this paper, the background paper that was extended further in the book. So discover amazing every day. Just a fun experiment here, doing some scribble marking on it and marks and uh, yeah, lots of different little things with one small element and some fl sticker flowers. Pretty much uh, just more collaging here using film strip. And this was something that I did. I went on a embossing kick with one of my favorite stamps and put those on this page. Didn't have a home yet. And this is fun too, all these different elements on this. Pretty much I assembled the collage all together like off to the side and then put it all down because the collage is actually about this big. And then this is all background paper glued onto the magazine page um, but yeah sometimes that works too to make your collage just glue it all in a separate piece and then put it all on there in one in one uh, one piece put all the elements together and I like this page too these beautiful women and young girls actually these girls are young and uh, they're all so beautiful in their own way I think that's really fun it's so colorful too this one I think I filmed. Who doesn't like coffee and adoring coffee together? And I have mine right here. In fact, I'm gonna take a sip. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, moving right along. Here's some more of that paper from that chrysalis photo. So cool. And just very simple, black and white with some other elements here. So very simple. Also might need a title, I've got space for it. And here's, the, here's one of the flip throughs, the um, little pocket things that they had in the magazine, in the catalog. So I just added some, a photo and I did, there was a lot of white space on here. So I just took a marker and I colored around it. But lots of different things on these two pages, but I decorated it for me. So I've had these little elements hanging around and I put them on there. And uh, this one says handmade. So I threw in, threw in some of my, uh, handmade paper and did a little watercolor leaf simple draw on that and stuck it in there so I've got that little and this one's cute because you know these people are you know that and be mine and I don't know just a lot of little elements here pictures that I had in a small container it's like I have these things they don't necessarily go together but it's still cool to look at all the different things and your eye is drawn this way because of this. It, I don't know. It's fun how these things turn out. Uh, this was a picture I had in my stash again for a long time with the background of the blues here, uh, bringing out the colors there. Um, but this is from the catalog of linens and such. Let's see, be in love with your life. I put a, I made a little arrow there, but you, it's still a little hard to see. Um, a lot of these are from Somerset Studio Magazine. One, I, don't, I couldn't tell you the month, of course, because um, I'd tear it all up. But this is Lynn Perella. If you like this kind of artwork, it's uh, she does quite a bit of work in Somerset Studio Magazines. You'll see her featured uh, several several times in in magazine in those magazines so she's a regular contributor to their to their book washi tape page how fun this was one of my favorite washi tapes right here finally used it up i had it forever it was a really nice roll it was like a scotch roll but i got it at a goodwill and um used it in so many different ways throughout the years add some black and white down here and i made i made this picture um, into a pocket where I just added another element to. All right, moving along, just some scattered papers and I think painted background on this one, just kind of a mess, but added a pretty teal colored focal point with some 
accents up there to anchor the page. Okay, just another black and white. Um, no title on this, but it looks like it might need one someday. And uh, yeah, just not, not a real big deal because some of these pages, like I said, because it was getting so thick, I didn't want to make such a big deal out of some pages. So it wouldn't add to the bulk. This one I, I filmed, still don't know which way is up with this polar bear, but you know, he's having a good time on this page. He's got a home. And here's a singular page that uh, I just washi taped. And uh, just to, I don't know, it's pretty. I like the subtlety of it all. And this is a contrast page. You got Tom Hiddleston here who, you know, low key, if you, if you will, um, looking all classy and dapper. And you got the little boy playing in the dirt in the sunshine and or in the sunset. So it, there's sand. So I don't know, just contrasting those two guys. And peaches, oh my gosh, the other day. Um, we're still getting peaches here. They're Colorado peaches, but I made a peach smoothie the other day. Oh my gosh, so yummy. This is already part of the magazine, and I just added some other pinkish, orangish elements and did some uh, little watercolor with uh, my watercolor brush pen on here just to match in. But this is a this is a paper towel or yeah, it's a paper towel, I think. And I like this page too with the black and white accents from an envelope. I think that's just fun. Ah, interesting. And this this picture cracks me up. I've had it for a really long time. But when I was going through looking at some other glue books, I think it was Shannon Green. She had it in hers. And the video that I was watching of hers was super old. Like It was like four years old, four or five years old. It's like, how long have I had this picture? And she had it too. So it's telling me that I need to put this in somewhere. And now it's got a home. <laughs> But true beauty begins within. The little baby's not freaked out at all. <laughs> so I don't know. It's just something fun in my book. Uh, just some doodling on some art, other things from a Somerset book or page. And this guy is this. This is like a miniature scene. And he's paper mache, and it just fascinates me all the little elements because I think this is all in miniature. I mean, look at even the little converse. Uh, it's like whoever did this, and I don't have the name on it, it's just, I, I'm really curious as to how this all happened. But there's lots to look at on that page. And I love this. First of all, I love avocados. Um, they're so good for you. And they just, I put them in my smoothies. They make them nice and creamy. It's my smoothie. I got my smoothie too with avocado in it. Um, so that's just, I don't know. I love it. It's just so, reminds me of when we went on a cruise and all the fruit, like the watermelons and even butter. They had sculptures made out of butter and watermelon and other fruit. And it's just amazing. And yes, more washi tape that's slightly tacky and an extension of this page. So there's the back. There's the front of my crazy glue book. And that's what... That's what I love right now. This is so much fun. I had such a good time with this. Did I put the date on here? Yes, I did. I did 20. I did this in about two years, 2020 and 2021. So that is a lot of fun. And uh, thanks for coming along and uh, checking it out. And some of the pages that I done, I've done in here, I have filmed. So you can go back and check those out. And it's, it's labeled glue book. And um, so glue book and then whatever page I was working on. But again, thanks for coming on over and uh, watching what I have done in this wonderful book. I had so much fun with this. Love you guys. And I hope you're doing something creative today. Um, uh, be blessed. And uh, as always, take care. Bye-bye.